Hey folks, Dave here. I recently uploaded a uh, materials test for 100% cotton using light burn and the X-Tool D1 Pro 40 watt laser. Well, what we want to do now is take a vector, put it on the front of a t-shirt, and see how that works out. Some people say it works great, some say it don't. Well, we're going to find out for ourselves. Let's do that right now. Okay, we're in light burn, and this will be pretty quick today. We're going to choose a pre-made project logo. Uh, if you were just choosing a vector, you would you would select here, top left. And if you have a pre-made project, pre-saved project, you would click here. This happens to be my wife's logo. You would select, check the top right to make sure that in the cuts and layers that you have exactly what you're looking for. We want to fill, not line or offset fill. And then I know based upon a, a recent 100% cotton materials test I uploaded that I want a speed of 300 millimeters per second and 15% power. And that may not be the right setting, but it's when you when you do materials tests, you, you're looking for a start point. And so I've selected this as a start point. Uh, let's see. Now we just need to do a frame. And then click start and send it over to the laser. So give me a couple of minutes to get set up in the laser bed and I'll be right back to do that. Okay, light burn's ready to go. We've got our t-shirt in the uh, bed of the laser. There's a piece of wood inside the shirt to hold it flat. I've just got these pins to mark the edge of that wood. And we just need to run a frame to see if this uh, graphic is centered. Might need to bump it a hair. Let's try it again. All right, looks good. I'm gonna turn on the exhaust fan and the air assist. So it'll get a little loud. And then we'll hit start, send the code over to the laser. All right, looks like we've got a pretty good graphic here. But I want to know how the fabric's going to hold up in the washing machine. So I'm going to go wash this shirt and bring it back before I finish the video. And then I'm sure you folks would like to know if this shirt's going to fall apart. And uh, I'll get it washed, come back, finish up the video. So the t-shirt's been washed, and the answer to whether it is a success or a failure is under that board. And here you go. It was a miserable failure. So we were at 300 millimeters per second, 15% power on a 40 watt laser. So it's either too slow a speed, too much power, or it's just not meant to be. So, since this one was a failure, I'll do another one soon. I'll maybe do a smaller graphic on a pocket t-shirt, lower the power, or increase the speed, or a little of both, and I will bring that to you, because I want to know if it's possible, and if it, if it holds up good, and there's, there, maybe there's a good setting somewhere, I just got to have time to work on it and find it, and when I do, 
I'll bring it to you. Well, folks, now we know. <laughs> that didn't work out too good, did it? Okay, so <laughs> I've destroyed another t-shirt. But at least we have some starting values from the materials test I posted a while back. We have this failure. So now we need to just adjust the values. Maybe increase the speed, reduce the power. Certainly use an old t-shirt to start with. Uh, just be careful. Don't start no fires. If you do, have something to put it out with. And soon, like I said earlier, I will do a, a video with a t-shirt with a, with a smaller vector on a pocket maybe. See how that works out. And I'll, I certainly know I need to increase my speed and reduce the power. We'll see how that goes. I'll do that video. We'll take a look at that and maybe make another judgment on whether it's a good thing to do this on a t-shirt or not. But for now, at the settings we used, I would say no, don't do it. So that was a 100% cotton t-shirt. Now I knew better than to use a uh, polyester blend or something like that. And so, don't know. We'll see what happens going forward with the pocket t-shirt. I hope this video helped you. I hope you learned something. If you did, please like and subscribe. And as I learn things, I'm gonna bring them to you. So. It's going to help us both. We'll grow together and we'll learn this laser thing and what we can do with it. All right, folks, we'll see y'all next time. Thank you for watching.